what's up team so today we're going to talk about trusting in a relationship so i want to call this i don't trust you because a lot of people have a mentality of i don't trust you when you get that man or that woman uh a god that you're praying for some reason it's this me mentality that says i don't trust you you never give the person a, an opportunity a fair chance because you take your old baggage from your old relationship into your new relationship that's not fair to the relationship. So you're telling this new person, I don't trust you. I don't trust you enough to open up to you, to tell you the secrets of my heart. Because I feel like you're out to get me. That's not true. Not everybody's out to get you. You don't trust the new person enough to... Just be you around them. That's not fair to the new person. There should be no walls, no uh, barriers between, I'm talking about, you know, people in courtship and people that are already married in a relationship. That's not fair. Because you have the mentality, I don't trust you. Because if I let you into my heart, you're going to hurt my heart again. Like the last person did. So many people, because they got that relationship, they, they got that mentality. I don't trust you. They want to go out here and rebound. Instead of taking the time to allow God to heal their heart. When I was single, I didn't date anybody for about two years. And I said, nope, I'm going to cut all men off. I'm going to focus on God until I can open up my heart and give somebody my all. When I was ready, it happened. So, give God the hurt. Give God the baggage, the old scars and wounds. So you don't walk around here with this mentality that says, I don't trust you. When you get this new person in your life, it's not fair to... Expect and accuse this person and make assumptions about this person or what this person is going to do or what it's not going to do because of the last relationship didn't work out. It's not fair to the new person to put a stigma on them. And it's like all men cheat or all women are cheat cheaters or X, Y, Z. That's not fair because it's not true. So I'm going to give you ways to come over this, to get over this mentality of I don't trust you. Number one, don't date until you're ready. Don't date until you're ready. Some people are probably asking, when am I ready? You'll know when you're ready because you're not holding on to the past. You're not speaking about your ex in every conversation with the new person. You're not thinking and missing your ex. You're not just being with anybody because you are lonely. You're ready when... You are con content with being you. Number two. Allow God to heal you. Allow God to heal you. That takes time. It takes time. But when God heals you, where you had low self-esteem before, it's going to come up. Because I've been there. I'm talking about somebody who has some low self-esteem. Oh, I had some low self-esteem where I just felt like the scum on somebody's shoe. That's how bad my self-esteem was because of the rejection. Allow God to heal you so you don't come off so vulnerable. You don't come off so needy where you feel like, where it seems like I need you, I need you, I need, I need somebody to be in my life. You know, because people prey on vulnerability. They can feel it. They can sense it a mile away. That's why women, you're hurting or people that just got out of a relationship Allow God to heal you. Close the shop up to your heart. Say, nope, I'm not dating. No, I'm allow God to take me through the process. So, you know, I may have been with somebody for years. I'm allow God to break these soul ties, you know, off so I can receive my new, my new thing that God has for me, right? All right. Number three, to get rid of this, I don't trust you mentality. Amen. How about you? Give the person a chance. Give the person a chance to 
show you that they're for you. You know, don't don't have don't put red flags up in the beginning or put barricades up in the beginning. Like no exit, do not enter. Give them a chance. Give them a chance to show you that you know they're gonna do what they said they're gonna do. That give them a chance to love you. Give them a chance to cherish you. Give them a chance to adore you. Give them a chance to take care of you. Whatever they're promising you. Give the person a chance. All right? Some people out there, you can relate to this. Maybe you've been in a relationship where you never got a chance. It had nothing to do with you. All right? Maybe it was that person where they never gave you a chance because they had that mentality. I don't trust you. So I'm not going to let you get too close. I'm going to let you get close, but not close enough. I can't show you the real me, so therefore I'm going to put a mask on, all right? And I'm not going to give you all of me. Maybe if I give you maybe 50% of my heart, I won't get hurt so bad because I know at the end you're just a fling uh, and we're not going to work out. That's that mentality that says, I don't trust you. But if you give the person a chance that you're in courtship with, and even I'm talking about some people that's already in this thing and married and they may have something from their, their past that's haunting them, coming back up to the surface, you know, give the person a chance. All right. Number four. Number four. You got to have an opportunity to trust the person you're with. Let me say that again. Some people, they don't trust anyone. So they're kind of impulsive. They want to check phones. They want to check behind their spouse. They want to hack the Facebook page, hack Instagram, hack social media, whatever, because they don't trust them. That's not fair to the person you're with. That's not fair. So you got to learn how to realize, okay, I'm not going to be impulsive. I'm going to trust the person I'm with. I'm going to give them a chance. All right. So this is today I'm talking about, you know, just allowing people that are broken to be healed. The people that are broken to be made whole. Don't rush anything. Don't dive in something head first, head deep. And, you know, later get hurt. Take your time. Slow down. Slow down. Because the right person that God has for you is not going to break your heart. They're going to love you. You're going to be the, the thing that they're praying for, the answer to their prayers. You're going to have the things that they need. Where your, where your last relationship, they probably rejected you. They probably said you were too fat, thick, you know, not light enough, not dark enough. Or chocolate enough, or tall enough, not short enough, you didn't have the right physique, you weren't educated, whatever it was. That person that God has for you, they're gonna love everything about you. Everything. So you don't have to have the mentality anymore of, I don't trust you. So be open. Allow God to do a work in you, allow Him to heal your heart. Amen. Take your time. It may take you a year, it may take you a few years, amen? Some people may not take that long, but don't ever rush, don't ever rebound. Give the person that you're, um, you know, in courtship with and, and, and married to, give them a chance. Give them a chance. Don't punish them for the last person's mistakes. Don't punish them because it's not fair to them, amen? And you, you got to let go. You got to let go. Don't be all impulsive. And try to hack everything because of your insecurities. All right. I love you, team. I pray God's blessings and favor upon you. I pray for, you know, God's will to be done in your marriage, your courtship. I pray for strength in your relationships. I pray God's blessings upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'll see you guys next week. Deuces.